Hey guys, welcome to Photo Tripping America. Join us today as Sully and I make a visit to Bisbee, Arizona. We're wandering around southern Arizona this week, and I've always wanted to see Bisbee. It's a great old mining town in the Mule Mountains, situated at about 5,500 feet above sea level. Its population sits at about 5,500 as well. And as you can see, the town sits on the mountainside and fills a narrow valley. City streets were designed well before the automobile, so they're narrow but very walkable. They are, however, very hilly. In fact, the high school has four levels, and each level has its own ground floor entrance. The main drag of Bisbee is known as Tombstone Canyon Road, and today its shops and buildings are full of restaurants, hotels, and lots and lots of art galleries. While you can find just about anything in Bisbee, including booze and beds. I, however, opted to visit the Bisbee Mining Museum. As an old rock hound, I wanted to look for my favorite mineral, malachite. I knew that it was mined close to copper, and there she is. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, minerals weren't the only thing that Bisbee Mining Museum had on display. Seems they had an infestation of flies. Somebody really needs to call the exterminator. Bisbee's become a mecca for artists, and you'll find all types of artwork in galleries scattered throughout town, as well as on walls all over town. I'll let you enjoy some of these street murals that I found. Check out the dog hidden under the stairs. That's Sully's favorite. Well, as we close the doors on our walk around Bisbee, we did drive out of town and around the corner to the Copper Queen Mine. This open pit mine was responsible for producing all kinds of copper, as well as malachite, azurite, wolfenite, and that famous Bisbee Blue Turquoise. About a half a mile outside of Bisbee, you'll find the small community of Lowell. The fact is so small, most people refer to it as South Bisbee. But it's here that you'll find a collection of antique cars and shops that seem to be frozen in time. Lowell grew up around the mine. In fact, if you were to walk to the end of Main Street, you could almost fall into the mine if they hadn't fenced it off. This place looks as if everyone just parked their cars on the side of the street and walked out of town about 70 years ago. It's pretty amazing. There's lots of transportation memorabilia around. You'll find antique Indian and Harley Davidson motorcycles, even old Greyhound buses parked on the side of the road, as well as this old patrol car. It's definitely worth a walk through. Why don't you take a look for yourself and see what you think? Well, Sully and I have really enjoyed our visit to Bisbee and Lowell, Arizona. If you're thinking of heading in this direction, check out the notes below this video for links to everything you saw here and more. 
And while you're here, why not subscribe for our YouTube channel? Join us next week for another adventure with Photo Tripping America. Thank you.